Hey guys, it's currently 2 in the morning and my in-game sanity as well as my real life sanity is completely gone. I've been trying to 3 star the Talula boss fight for 3 hours now and I'm having absolutely no luck at all trying to get past the firestorm phase. My disappointment is immeasurable. So here's a completely unrelated video about what was going through my mind when I was doing this boss fight. Chapter 8, so far, has been a blast to read and probably the longest Arknights chapter to date. I mean, it makes sense, it's the latest chapter after all. When I was reading it, my brain was like thinking of all these weird theories and one in particular stood out to me because I've been like thinking about it ever since the recent CN event involving the character and it was kind of pounding at me like a hentai MC you know so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump right into this zero sanity theory that I concocted So we all know Kalsid, right? She's the resident head medic of Rhodes Island and debunked ex-wife who hates our guts and doesn't trust us at all. Damn. The only thing keeping her from ending us right there and then is Amir. After all, killing us will make Amir sad and no one wants to see a sad donkey. But what if I told you there might be another reason behind that hostility? What if Kalsit, behind Amia and the doctor's back, is secretly preparing for something in the future? Let me explain. In the recent Rainbow Six collab event, we discovered that Rhodes Island had loads of stockpiled weapons in a warehouse. That's something pretty out of the ordinary for a pharmaceutical company to have just lying around Imagine going into your local hospital and discovering they have a whole storage of AKs and M4s just there in the back rooms. What's even weirder is that these warehouses built to the brim with weapons, mind you, are located all across Terra. They were turned into offices for Rhodes Island operatives to recuperate during missions. This then begs the question, why does Amiya then Claim Rhodes Island is weak throughout the entire story when they have the means to fight a whole war if they have to. It's either the nations of Terra are just that strong, which is plausible as well, a reminder that this exists and there's a whole bunch of them under Usu's command, or Amiya herself doesn't know the full extent of the weapons being stored in the warehouses. You know who does though? Kalsit. These weapons were most likely from when Babel was still around, now collecting dust as the Rhodes Island only uses a small portion of them to resupply their operators. Now how does this tie into Kalsit? Assuming Amiya doesn't know the full extent of this, it means that Kalsit, as the only other person in Rhodes Island with full authority, has been hiding the knowledge of these weapons from Amiya. For what reason would she have to keep these weapons and not destroy them. Unless, of course, she plans to use these weapons for her own purposes in the future. That's strike one. Strike two would be Kalsit having connections to many key nations on Terra. Just from her age alone, she's at least as old as Patriot, by the way, but I don't think she likes hearing that. Kalsit has gained more knowledge about every part of Terra than anyone else so far and she can, at any point, use this knowledge to further her agenda. Who knows, maybe she already began doing it as far back as the first chapter, or even before that. She was also one of the main brains behind the sarcophagus. You know, the machine that the doctor was in, to keep him alive until the prologue. It is also what turned Mephisto into this flying dragon bird creature thing. It's really suspicious when you think about it. 
if the sarcophagus is anything to go by, what other insane projects was Kalsit involved in? And would they be used by someone else or even Kalsit herself in the future? I guess only she knows the true answer to that. The biggest red flag for this theory, however, would be Amir and how she is Kalsit's most important piece and how Kalsit is slowly losing her favour to the Doctor. Kalsit has always been opposed to Amiya being around the Doctor. She explains it away as wanting to keep Amiya's emotions stable and her well-being safe. But remember, this is the same person who allowed her to be subjected to extremely tough situations and decisions that made her into the person she is today in the first place. This leads me to believe that Kalsit has some ulterior motive to not let Amiya be near the doctor. Most likely, Kalsit does not want to lose Amiya as her peace as the doctor's influence on her grows. Whatever plan she is preparing for, she desperately needs Amiya to be under her thumb in order for it to succeed, or all the other factors will essentially be useless. But how does the doctor fit into all of this? Why does Kalsit show so much unearned hostility to us other than the fact that we killed Teresa. It's really simple. The Doctor is the only one who can piece together her plan and stop it. Or at least the pre-amnesia Doctor can. Think about it. Pre-amnesia Doctor was an infamous strategist that was also known as the Ghost of Babel. He's the only other person who knows of the warehouse's true purpose and the weapons that they hold. Along with that would be Amiya's near obsession with the Doctor. She is pretty much his biggest admirer even before he got rescued. So every waking moment Amiya spends with the Doctor, Kalsit's grip on her weakens immensely. Anything Kalsit can prepare for? Pre-Amnesia Doctor will have already been 10 steps ahead. The Doctor has all the factors to be able to stop Kalsit's plan and the only thing stopping him right now is his amnesia. That might be the reason why she barely tells him anything of his past in Babel to stop him from recalling his memories and buying her more time. This is also why Kalsit didn't agree to Amiya's rescue operation at the beginning of the game. In hindsight, not only did it require the sacrifice of numerous elite operators, Ace, Scout, I will always remember you, it also brought back the single biggest threat to her plans, the Doctor. Now, I'm not saying that Kalsit is some sinister figure just waiting to plunge Terra into war or something like that. We still have very little information about Kalsit's motives despite a whole event centered around her being released recently. But this does make her look like she has differing goals compared to Rhodes Island. She has never been the most morally correct person and she never makes decisions based on emotion alone. Almost like an android, right? I think this theory just adds way more flavor to her already interesting backstory and makes Rhodes Island's position more precarious in the future than it already is. Poor Amir, she can never catch a break can she? <laughs>